So call me biased because I was born on Valentine's Day, but I think it's pretty darn important to create a more loving and giving workplace. I would even argue that if you create a more loving and giving workplace, you'll become significantly more profitable. Why is that? Well, we all know that more collaborative, connected companies are better at solving problems and are better at innovating. That's gonna yield a better bottom line for you. And let me now dive into five tips that I believe you can utilize to make this happen right now. Tip number one is to integrate the practice of gratitude. Because when you come from a state of appreciation, it's almost impossible to carry any fear, anger, or selfishness, and that's gonna make you more collaborative. What are some immediate things that you can do to integrate more gratitude? Well, first off is either on a Monday morning or maybe a Friday afternoon, bring your team together where everybody can specify something that they're specifically grateful for. Produces magic. Another thing you can do is write thank you cards to your team, just saying awesome job, great effort for whatever they do. Some simple tactics that can go a long way. Tip number two, encourage an atmosphere of healthy dissent. Companies that allow for a healthy level of disagreement are not only more innovative, they're also safer and warmer places because team members feel like their ideas are welcomed and are important, and they also don't feel like they're walking on eggshells. Leaders can encourage a culture of healthy dissent by celebrating those who disagree with them and encouraging disagreement and debate in team meetings. It's that easy. Tip number three, get real with a charity or cause that you care about. I mean, what better way to create more giving inside your office than to give back in your community? But there's a twist here. You gotta get out of the office and experience the impact that you're creating firsthand. This will pay dividends in so many ways and will help put people in a more selfless mindset. At Snack Nation, we spend one half day per quarter in downtown Los Angeles at the Regional Food Bank. It's incredible to see the bonds that people create during and after these events, and you can do the same thing pretty quickly. Tip number four, encourage a culture of connection and vulnerability. I have a belief that before you connect with somebody on a business level, you should connect with their core, connect with them as an individual. I also think that when you share a vulnerability with someone, it makes you more relatable, it makes you seem authentic, and it actually allows for that connection to occur. A couple ways that you can do this is by starting off your leadership or team meetings with a shared vulnerability or fear. Another thing you can do is have a company buddy system where every individual is expected to connect with somebody else on a monthly basis purely for who that person is and completely outside of what they do at work. These are the ways that you create a culture of increased vulnerability and connection allowing your company to thrive. And tip number five, this might sound counterintuitive, is put yourself first. That's right, at Snack Nation, our first core value is health above all else. Because how are you gonna inspire health, happiness, and love in others if you don't even love yourself enough to take care of your health and everything that you need to be the best version of yourself? Put yourself first, love yourself, and it's amazing how you'll be able to emanate that and radiate that to others. That's it folks, those are five tips on what you can do to create a more loving, selfless and giving company. If you wanna check out some more content like this, go to snacknation.com slash blog and we'll have it for you. Take care.